Hello everybody, this is Tony and now we are in Arcade, a uh, MMORPG game that is somewhat free. Well, it's it's free. You can start playing it for free, but it has some mechanics that uh it's it's better when you pay for it, but it's it's minor. So, I recommend you to play it. It's a very good game, as you can see. It has very nice graphics. Choose to play this race, which is their ferns. It's a they look like cats at most um they walk in two legs and they have a tail like like you said you can see it right here and the beginning you have a very thorough creation uh screen so you can customize your races very nicely um down to the color of the eyes the shape of the nose uh all it's huge things that you can't really right see screen. most of the time when you're you playing you can't you customize them the so customization wise is very nice Right now we start. We are in the starting area, and we probably gonna see a lot of tutorials showing because you know they have to show you how to play the game. Right now, this this race has uh, it, it has this dash that I'm looking at right now, and it basically makes you run faster and it drains your mana while you're using it. And you can use it as long as you have mana, which is a very nice uh, change from other MMOs. This is the dance. You can put it on your bar, and you can see all the other emotes in the in the menu that I'll show you in a second. This is uh, an instrument that I have, and it basically heals and boosts people around it. And it's a very nice thing. The, as you can hear, it has sound, to and you can actually play an instrument, which is very interesting. As I was telling you earlier, uh, we see here the skills and the tutorials. It's telling you that you you can have Click skills on your bar, and your when you get close, you can use the shortcut keys to uh, uh, activate them, which is pretty much like in any other MMO you've played, probably, or, or any other game. And it's uh, I'm targeting here, and as you can see, it has these arrows on the floor that point to the where the quests are, so it's a nice little f uh, feature for questing. Right now I'm, I chose my skill set as uh, Vitalism, which is basically the hero, uh, not the hero, the, the healer class of the game, and it can boof and heal and revive uh, teammates. Um, and you have a nice little story behind all these classes. And for example, the Vitalism has it says the patroness of this. So this is considered Kiprosa de Dyer, which is the keeper of the gates of the world. And you know, they they continue Vitalism is support three, the primary tree of, of the healer. It can be tough it can be a tough tree to start with due to its lack of damage, but it's invaluable in a party. And they continue Vitalism has only two damaging skills as well as a snare and the only revived skill in the game. So you are actually the only person in the game that can revive other players. Right now, the questing when you when you are gonna pick a quest, you have like this mini cinematic uh, zooming kind of deal. I don't know if you can turn it off. Um, you set the quest. They don't. The blue. They have different um, quest marks. So you can tell them apart. Like the green ones are your race uh, quests, and yellow ones are uh, song quests. So and blue are just things that you can pick up, and they tend to mark the the items that you can use on the on the zone with those blue glowy uh, signals above them. This is the map. Right now, I'm pretty fond of the this animation of running around. It's very nice. The animations in the game are pretty good, at least this one's so far. And the artwork is also the design of the creature, especially the race creatures, is very nice. The other three uh, races are basically humans. There's an elf um, race, but it's you know just a human with uh, pointy ears. This is the one, that the only one that is uh, different than the other ones in the respect that it's not exactly a human. This race is also the the normal one, the ones that that doesn't exactly have a city, even though they might. But I still haven't been to it yet. 
but story-wise or lore-wise, they don't. They are the nomadic kind of people that roams around you can the the place and does and establish in one place. And they are also um, very naturalistic. That uh, they believe every life. Um, the story in the game is that they believe every life, no matter how small, is only is not only valuable, but it plays a critical role in the natural world. So they are very this kind of spiritual um, race, but it's spiritual in the sense that connected to the na nature and the place that every creature has in the world. The other races are more they have de deities, even though these ones also do have that. Their deities are more like the classic in the sense of a deity, which is a, a human-like person uh, that has overpowering or omni powers stuff like that. This one is more like the elements, earth, wind, fire, that kind of uh, shenanigan. Right now, the yeah, the the things that you can attack, as you can see, red ones are and they have red and yellow bars. I'm assuming it works like other MMOs that the yellow is neutral and then red is uh, uh, enemies like a hostile. I will see. And I'm liking so far that even though I'm a healer class, I can use a bow and a shield. So that's that's good. That's interesting. I haven't leveled too much yet, but yeah. Yeah, I'm using this this spell that um, causes damage if you attack an opponent, and if you cast it on yourself, it heals you. So they have this kind of spell that heals when you cast it on yourself, or um, does damage when you cast it on a hostile enemy, or casts uh, debuffs. Yeah, it tells you the experience, the coins that you get, and getting mana potions. Right now the mana doesn't really go down, especially probably because I'm leveling. But yeah, I'm, I have to say that this this race looks pretty good. And I didn't mention it earlier, but when you pick your race, you have female and male. Oh, look at this. This this was very cute. You can play for a quest with, with a cute cub like this and it's a very cute cub. I hope that you can get it as pets uh, later. You can see that there on the ground. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> I want one of those. So yeah, probably you can get it in the future. I'm, I'm not too sure yet. But I will definitely get one of those. And you have these labor points while you're playing that um, it, right now, mine regenerate one labor data. point per minute, basically. To and if you start playing, you don't get labor points. And you need point. those labor points. For example, right now, I've been picking up inventory. And to see what they are, to to discover them, um, you have to use labor points. So I'm guessing when you when, once you run out of those labor points, you can't do it anymore but it, it, it regenerates over time. So I'm guessing it's, it's a mechanic that makes you keep playing, at least in this way to play the free way. You can get premium, and a, a premium account, and I think you, this, these labor points become, they give you more over time, and to the point that you can't, you don't really have to pay attention to them You'll that much. But it's still very nice that they let you play for free, so I think it's a messable. Here is the skills. I'm basically choosing a skill, give it a point, and then just drag it to my bar to use it. This one is another one of those skills that um, causes uh, a debuff on the enemy when you cast it on them, but when you cast it on yourself, it gives you um, a benefit. So right now I'm gonna use it in my rotation. And this is the map. And you have one mini map over there to the right top. And it's showing you where you're going and the path. I hope right now that the world is more open that it, because I'm seeing these uh, huge mountains around it that don't allow you to go wherever you want. But I'm hoping that the game is more like open plains that you can basically go wherever you want. Uh, because I don't like I don't really like games that are like 
one path and you have to follow it all around when it comes to the land that you're exploring. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. This is only the first episode. Right now I'm looking for a quest that is basically the coming of age of of you as part of the, the tribe. So you have to take the trials of each of the elements, wind, fire, and so forth, to prove that you're uh, of age to the tribe, or to your race, in this case. Look at that owl, it's funny. And look, look at that, those, those, they have very nice designs in their creatures. Right now I'm just picking up quests as, as fast as I can, trying to level up. This is the female type of, uh, of, of this race, the Ferrans. They are very uh, cute and different. They are not the same at all. Really soft features. Press yeah, and right now I'm still me, I can auto run with the non block, which is pretty common. I'm big I'm getting this this uh, guys that I have to pay for some roots. You know, kill them for the roots. The roots. This kind of quest that you probably used to already that you have to kill and they will hand you the roots. <laughs> Freaking fighting a plant. Yeah, and I miss it for a little while. See the blue uh, beams sprouting from the ground. It, that, those are the plants that I have to get also. But I miss it for a while. I'm killing these guys that drove me this first quest that I have. And they die pretty quickly. Right now I'm using a combination of the two casting spells that I have. This magic damage and the debuff. I'm reading right now to see what it does make sure that I'm using it right, so I basically cast one that increases damage and the other one that applies a snare as you can see here, this casting one causes a lot of damage, like half of the life is gone, like take that and now I'm using the bow while the other one recharges, the bow is really nice to use, this is the auto type I'm planning to release most, more of these videos as I'm leveling of this game um, so look to more of them in the future um, right now I'm just trying to complete this quest and um, targeting just reading these these spells again to see what they do how can I use them they have cooldowns you know they have range pretty much like you're used to so it's gonna be pretty simple to get used to this game if you've never played it before because it, it draws on the same uh, kind of skills that you see everywhere and look at those spells these spells effects are very nice Right now shooting with the bow. Shooting with the bow is nice because it doesn't have a uh, really internal cooldown really. And yeah, I'm gonna be releasing like I said before more videos in the future and and be attentive if you want to see them and if you want to leave any kind of comment just leave it in the comment section and I have also have Facebook so this is Tony signing out. I hope you enjoy it and see you on the next video.